Welcome back to All Sunny Farms. I'm Grace and Beekeeper. Today I'm going to talk about how to prepare your bees for winter and how you should do it. So let's get into the video. Number one to look for on preparing your bees for winter is make sure they have enough food storage and food supply chain. They need to make sure you need to make sure they have royal jelly, bee bread, pollen, and honey, and make sure they have brood and all eggs and larvae and pupa. And like I right, when we get to the brood and pupa, you need if you've ever heard of this before, it's winter bees of physiology. You've probably heard me talk about it on the channel. That is simply a term that means the bees of winter physiology will live four to six months, but the summer bees you see, they only live for a month or even less. Depends on how healthy that bee is. And another thing to consider about preparing your bees for winter is make sure you have a low mite level. You need to make sure you treat mites and also test for mites because the rural destructor mite can half the amount of the winter bee and that can go down to two to three months and that won't get you through January or February, the two most coldest months of the season of winter. Number two is to wrap or not to wrap. Some people may want to wrap their colonies who are up in the north around. If you're in the south and, you don't, and you're not too much into freezing temperatures, you may not really care about wrapping your halves in the winter. You can wrap them if you are in the north and you would rather wrap them. You can wrap them in insulation as you use in your house or any other material as foam or anything else would work. Um, another thing to consider is whenever it's a little over 60 degrees and the sun's up, if the sun's in your colony, you, your colony will warm up a lot more. But with the insulation on it, the hive will not be warmed up as much. So that's just one thing to consider of wrapping or not to wrap your hive. Number three is feeding your bees in fall and winter. This is the most important step of surviving winter of your bees. The bees will need protein and minerals and carbs. That's the way bees go, they need that. You can feed them sugar bags of granulated sugar that will work just fine in fall. But once you get into winter, you will need to make sure you can give them protein patties or anything if that will work. You can use candy boards, some people call them sugar cakes or protein cakes or anything like that. That's what some people refer to of candy boards. And our good idea is to put sugar water on top with a feeder. Do not feed within the entrance. You can if you want to, but that can lead to robin. Number four, make sure you have a low mite level and make sure you don't have too many small hive beetles. The small hive beetle does overwinter in the colony in the season of winter and they will eat honey during whenever they are in the colony so we need to make sure we put beetle blasters in there and control hot beetles and mites we need to make sure we treat our mites and test for mites in fall and also in the spring and also we need to test for them before we treat them and once and also we need to treat them you can treat them with formic pro or apivar anything it's up to the individual beekeeper what to treat on their halves thank you for watching the video thanks for supporting me here with wild at sunny farms please subscribe with the bell click the bell that will make sure you will be notified each time I make a new video and you'll never miss a video of mine. Thank you for watching. Thanks for, for your support and your nice comments and we'll see you on the next Wild West Honey Farms video.